An American Marriage by Tiari Jones Animated Book Review What happens to you doesn't belong to you. Only half concerns you. It's not yours, not yours only. Claudia Rankin One, two, three. This is it. Imagine walking down the aisle, daddy by your side, the smell of gardenias surround you, the cool air hits your face, and you see him see you for the first time in your wedding dress. Imagine all the hopes and dreams jumping around in the pit of your stomach. As you walk closer and closer to him, you see your whole future, your whole life, the house, car, dog, Holidays at your parents' house, the pregnancies, the birthdays, growing old together, the gray hairs. What can a marriage survive? What should a marriage survive? This beautiful melodic novel swirls around Roy and Celestial, a newlywed couple that face marriage in the wake of a devastating wrongful conviction. This is a very timely novel. It sprinkles in crumbs about colorism, entrepreneurship, social classes, mass incarceration, and black wealth. This title is so textured and exemplary of what some marriages and romantic relationships look like in America, what the male figure is missing. How does the historic systematic dismantling of the African American family from past day slavery business to current day mass incarceration business affect the relationships caught up in it? Unfortunately, many American families know what this kind of love looks like. They live through complexities that surround having incarcerated members. Can I buy that new car? Can I start this new business? Am I allowed to go on vacation to have fun? What does this do to the love, the core of any strong family unit? Two men grew up next door to one another. Their parents gave them the same speech every morning. You are smart, you are capable of whatever you put your mind to, make good choices. These boys heard this every day for the first 18 years of their lives and took this message and printed on their hearts and minds to college and continually throughout their lives. One night, both men rolled over towards their wives and fell asleep. One man will wake up in the morning to kiss his wife and eat breakfast next to her before getting ready for a day he is passionate about. The other man will be woken in the night to his body being dragged from his warm bed onto the cold hard pavement while police scream in his face before he's hauled off to jail. This man will soon realize that his intelligence, capabilities, and good choices couldn't keep his life in line with the American dream. He will realize that he will suffer an unjust criminal justice system based on the color of his skin and not the contents of his character. What does life look like for those stuck on the inside, only gleaning fragments of progress from the world outside? What does it look like? What does it feel like to be waiting on love, night after night, sleeping on only one side of the bed, or day after day, waiting for a piece of normalcy, of love that comes from a call or in the form of a letter? It was easy to connect with these characters to love them and to hate them and to really disagree and agree with their choices. The character development was so good I found myself laughing out loud or being really upset by something one said or did. This is as much a romantic love story between husband and wife as it is a parental love story between parents and their adult children. Some say you never really know true love until you meet your firstborn. An American Marriage sheds a light on the beautiful differences in fatherhood, motherhood, and the dynamics of being a parent as a lifelong endeavor. The different father relationships unfold in such a real and beautiful way. The masculine energy was celebrated and the complexities and defects were revealed. The development of the father characters were so vital to the emotional weave of this story. The peaks and the valleys of being parented and guided as an adult were explored. No matter how old, like it or not, the relationships we have with our parents are pivotal to who we are. 
Whether they are constantly ambivalent or they lift us up like a prayer, we are shaped by them. The different character points of view added so much richness and laughter to the story in such a familiar way. This is a novel that makes you think about the characters long after you finish the last sentence. I found myself thinking about how the bigger ideas, the takeaways that are relevant to all human souls affect me and my family every day. I love that none of the characters were perfect. Whether you loved or hated them, they will all move you emotionally. They were so flawed and that's so real because we all are. The story reminds us that most inmates will eventually rejoin us in society one day. That fact should move us in a more thoughtful way, in the way we as a society interact with them and in the ways we allow them to be treated. Rehabilitated or not, most will rejoin us in society in an attempt to reintegrate at some point. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you would like more videos like this. Leave a comment of other books you'd like me to review. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those you love. Please share this video. Thanks so much.